morning class i am going to ask today we are going to do further questions of chapter exercise 10.1 okay so till now we have done uh, some one theorem some fundamental concepts and true false questions of exercise 10.1 right now we are going to start from question number 2 okay so question number 2 says the diagonals of a quadrilateral bisect each other okay prove that the given quadrilateral is a parallelogram this question is written in the book i am going to help you by uh, drawing the figure here it says there is a quadrilateral whose diagonals bisect each other and we have to prove that this particular quadrilateral is a parallelogram so because we have to prove it like a parallelogram so we will already draw it like a parallelogram okay this is question number 2 of exercise 10.1 fine Triangle 
this COA. COA. In triangle AOB and COD, they both these triangles. If I uh, equal any three things from both of these triangles, then remaining three things will be equal, all three things will be equal. So both triangles will be congruent. So right, this is what we are going to do. So in triangle both AOB and COD. OA from this triangle OA is equal to from of this triangle OC. OA is equal to OC. This side of this triangle is equal to this side of this triangle. Why? Because it was given to us OA equal to OC. This side belongs to this triangle and this side belongs to this triangle. These one thing is equal. So what do you write? It is given to us. One thing has been equal. Another, what can we do? See this angle and this angle. These are vertically opposite angles, right? So I can write angle AOB is equal to angle COD. COD. Why? Vertically opposite angles. I am writing this like this case. Okay. Short form. P O A. Vertically opposite angle. Second thing is equal. Now what next? Total three things must be equal. So see this side of this triangle is equal to this side of this triangle. I mean to say O B is equal to O B. OB is equal to OB. Why? It was also given. Given. So three things has been equal. So what now? We can say because three things have been equal. What side angle and side? Pi S A S rule triangle AOB is congruent to triangle COD. Right? AOB, this triangle and this triangle is congruent. These are congruent. That means what? This side is equal to this side. Because of simplicity corresponding part of corresponding triangle. So AB is equal to CD. Why? CD, CD. Corresponding parts of corresponding triangle. This term was mentioned in the last time you must be familiar with this. Okay, both these sides are equal. Sides are equal, but in a parallelogram, opposite sides are equal, that's fine, but they must be parallel also. We have proved so far equal. Now we have to also prove parallel. How do we prove parallel? See. If these triangles are congruent, then this angle and this angle must be equal because these are equal congruent triangles. So this angle and this angle is equal. So I can say angle OAB. Angle OAB is equal to angle OCB. OCB. This angle and this angle is equal. Why? Congruent triangle or uh, CPCT or it can it can be written here CPCT or it can also be written as uh, alternate angle because you see a Z is found here a Z yes and you know where Z is found those are alternate angle and where do alternate angles exist alternate angles are always exist where the sides are parallel right this angle and this angle is equal because of simplicity. If angles are equal, that means sides are parallel, right? That is AB parallel to CD. AB is parallel to CD. By this way, we prove sides equal and sides parallel also. So one condition is satisfied about these two sides. Now same thing goes for both these sides. These sides have been sorted out. Now, what about these? 
from the exactly similar way exactly similar way we will do the uh, ad and bc equal and parallel fine so first you write this and i am going to erase this and what would you write then after after all of this you will do same thing for the ad and bc but not in the complete manner you will write Similarly, AD is equal to BC and AD is parallel to BC in short form, right? So, so because sides are equal, opposite sides are equal and parallel, that means this is a parallel graph. So, ABCD is a Right. So I hope you are clear with this.